This hydrogen solar panel, developed by the Belgium startup called the Solhide Project, is an all-in-one solution to produce pure green hydrogen with only solar energy and air. It solves many problems by replacing expensive large-scale battery systems with a limited battery lifespan. But the new hydrogen solar panels are particularly exciting for home users as well, as it enables a decentralized hydrogen production for every household. Hydrogen could be an efficient energy storage alternative to battery systems, but could also be sold at a profit since green hydrogen becomes increasingly important in decarbonizing heavy industry and transport. But how does this new hydrogen solar panel work? What are the benefits over conventional solar panels? And is hydrogen a reliable alternative to conventional battery storages, even for home users? We'll find out in today's video. The U.S. is the biggest natural gas consumer today, with a total share of 21.7%. While 37% is used for electric power generation, 33% is consumed by industry, making natural gas one of the most important energy sources of our time. And with conflicts in the Ukrainian war, global gas prices have peaked, especially in Europe. This geopolitical energy dependence allowed Belgian researchers to develop a solar panel to produce synthetic gas in 2023. We can't completely do without natural gas since most of our energy infrastructure depends on it. But we can use tools to reduce the natural gas consumption continuously. The most crucial is green hydrogen, which can be used to convert into synthetic gas, also known as syngas. But more on that later in the video. First, we need to understand how the hydrogen solar panel for every household works. The Belgian researchers describe the hydrogen panel as small, modular, and ideal for decentralized hydrogen production. While conventional solar panels feed the excess electricity into the power grid or store it in batteries, the Solhide panels capitalize on the photocatalytic water splitting process, or artificial photosynthesis. The groundbreaking thing here is the Solhide panel only needs air and sun to produce hydrogen as it extracts water from the humidity in the air. Water molecules in the air are captured by the materials inside the panel coming into the vise through these openings on the side. The collected water is stored in a tube system for later use, as the highest humidity is typically at night. At daytime, the irradiating sunlight activates the photocatalyst to split the collected water into pure green hydrogen and oxygen, while a membrane prevents them from mixing. The oxygen is released back into the air while the hydrogen is stored in a tank. The startup provides some more detailed insights into how it could be used in a single-family home. 20 panels are required on the roof of a four-person family to have enough heat and electricity all winter long in a well-insulated house. Well, a 1,000-meter-square industrial-scale roof would produce two to four tons of hydrogen annually. A smaller roof with 20 hydrogen panels at home would produce 120 to 240 kilograms per year, equivalent to four to eight kilowatt hours. However, these estimates are for Northern European countries, whereas more sunlight would produce even more hydrogen. But why should hydrogen be a more suitable storage medium? What is the system's efficiency? And what are the advantages over conventional batteries? One advantage of the panels is their modularity. The Solhide hydrogen panels are designed to be compatible with commercial PV models and serve only as a carrier of the solar modules. If you already have solar panels on your roof installed, you can easily upgrade them into hydrogen production as needed. The hydrogen will be stored in a tank outside the house. The most significant advantage is that the hydrogen tank can be filled with a lot of hydrogen energy during the sunny months, typically from March to September. The hydrogen can then be converted back into electricity with fuel cells in the winter. And this is where the system's most significant advantage is. While hydrogen cars are inefficient as they lose significant amounts of energy, giving off heat in the conversion process, almost all the energy can be used in homes, including the waste heat, increasing the system's overall efficiency to 90%. In the fuel cell conversion process, approximately 60% are converted into heat and 40% into electricity. The heat can therefore be used 
to heat the house and warm water in the winter, while 40% of the energy is used for electricity. So 90% of the energy used in the winter is generated from 100% solar energy in the summer. This isn't thinkable with batteries as they lose significant capacity over time, especially in cold temperatures. So even if the energy was stored in July, it could still be efficiently used in December. The biggest advantage, therefore, is long-term storability. However, the Solhide project has a significant disadvantage, as it is an all-in-one production solution for hydrogen without offering a storage option yet. They focus mainly on producing solar hydrogen panels because the industry needs more and more hydrogen, which can be used in various ways. Another company is offering the storage solution, but we need to understand the importance of hydrogen first and how it is converted to synthetic gas with the potential to replace almost all fossil fuels. In a world entirely powered by renewable energy, we can't only rely on giant wind farms, huge solar parks, and large-scale battery packs. We need an alternative to fossil fuels as most of our power plants and heavy industries rely on them. And that's where hydrogen comes into play. It can be stored and converted into other gases, but also be mixed up to 30% with natural gas to reduce general natural gas consumption. But that's not the groundbreaking advantage. Hydrogen, together with carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, can be converted into synthetic gas, also called green syngas. Green syngas has the same properties as natural gas. It can thus be transported through the existing gas infrastructure, burned in power plants, and used in heavy industries to produce green steel. Instead of transporting fossil energy around the globe with giant tanker ships, it can be produced wherever needed decentrally with the Solhide panel. Even home users could generate and store hydrogen for themselves or sell excess energy to the grid when there is high demand such as possible with Tesla's Smart Grid virtual power plant. People owning a Tesla Powerwall and solar panel can sell their excess energy to the grid or even sell the battery's capacity as a storage service. But how can we imagine these systems being used at home to produce gas? When will this become a reality and to what cost? The Belgian startup has unfortunately not yet announced any prices. Initially, they will only be delivered to large customers to scale production and to reach prices close to conventional photovoltaic cells. From 2026, the hydrogen panels could also be available for private customers. Currently planned applications are at solar farms for hydrogen production, which in conjunction with large-scale battery plants absorb voltage spikes in the grid and make the energy available when required but also for industrial facilities or power plants with a high demand for hydrogen. However, the Solhide project is not the only company realizing the benefits of hydrogen as a long-term storage option. In 2022, a Berlin-based company installed the first hydrogen storage system called Picea in a solar-roofed residential building in Germany. A total of 2,800 square meters can be supplied with solar energy all year round. The tenants are therefore completely independent of gas or electricity prices. And this is how it works. A built-in hydrogen catalyst fills the hydrogen tank in the front of the building using excess energy from the solar roof. The process is reversed in the winter to generate electricity and heat. The system is also available for single or multifamily houses and even for the industry. Up to 10 tanks can be installed each containing 1,500 kilowatt hours. Most systems installed by HPS also have a battery storage unit. In the months when the sun is particularly high, from March to October, the battery storage can provide the system with electricity 24-7, delaying the need for hydrogen to reduce the total hydrogen consumption and increase efficiency, as in the summer, the heat from the hydrogen system is not needed. However, storing hydrogen requires a lot of pressure, as hydrogen has a low density and we want to store a lot of it in a small space. All of this doesn't sound very cheap. Now hold on tight. The price of a Picea system ranges from 105,000 to 145,000 euros. The system for 145,000 euros has a storage capacity of 7,500 kilowatt hours. That's way too expensive at the current state of development. 
but the largest battery manufacturer, CATL, has started mass production of salt batteries using 0% lithium to drop battery prices massively. Or your solar panels can operate at night by upgrading with a thermoelectric generator. Click the displayed video to learn more and tell us what you think about the new hydrogen solar panel. Would you upgrade your solar panels to hydrogen production?